Ricky Williams, Rembert Brown, welcome aboard. So it seems like there's two lines, right? So the first line is athletes being aware about stuff and making it clear to people. And I think what you saw at the ESPYs with LeBron and Chris Paul and those guys coming up and speaking out, that was important. I mean, I felt like that was a moment. At the same time, there's another line that nobody's really crossed yet. And it seems like a guy I never expected is the guy who's tiptoeing toward it, Carmelo Anthony. Yeah. I never thought Carmelo would be that type of person. I always saw him kind of thinking about his legacy in terms of post-career and that kind of New business. New, that New York aspect is like, oh, I want to do startups and I want to like, collect art and I want to do this type of stuff, which is like, that's cool. That's, that's fine. Yeah, like but, he was a brand, not, yeah. not somebody who was actually worried about the welfare yeah, of the country. Like he, I agree. He's going to have a very interesting basketball legacy and I think having a legacy that is that is also involved with social justice and standing up and kind of being a leader is, is an amazing thing that, again, I just did not see coming even six months ago. And it transcends sports, you know? I, I, think, uh, I think you look at guys like Jim Brown who have been able to, to expand beyond sports. And, and for me, like, I realized that once I became an athlete, I'd have a platform. And I was, was looking for ways to do, to do more with the platform, but it was, it was really difficult. And for me, it's great to see guys like Carmelo finally finally stepping up. And I think also if you look at the demographic of athletes, they're, they're young and tend to be African American. And I think across our society, you don't see that group being very politically active. He's never won the title. He's never even played in the finals. And I'm not sure he's going to play in the finals. But this has kind of become his title in a way. Like this is kind of his moment. He never really had that moment. He had it in college. Yeah. He never really had it in basketball. And I keep looking at this gold medal game. and. Is he going to use the gold medal game and the, or the gold medal stand to do something? What's in play? I mean, I think that's, a, that's like a history book moment. It's like, no one, like a history book moment is not like Carmelo and the Knicks and like, yeah, make it, like, <laughs> like you know, like three years finals. ago. It's yeah. like, like that's, it's, 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 it's definitely a play and, I, and it's, in a, it's an incredible play. It's, it's, it's one of those things where he, you know, to some people, they would be like, you have a lot to lose. I think he has so much more to gain. He is in this position where he could actually make a difference and have these have these impressionable kids on his team and impressionable pe people yeah. not on the team watching it be well, like, oh. Ricky I, excited. I think yeah. that's, that's the biggest thing. I think the younger players look to the older players to see what's appropriate behavior. And when they see an older established player doing it, I think they feel more comfortable. And I think the younger guys are, pro are more politically active because times have changed. And, and they have the, the cur I think they have the courage and the, the naivete to actually speak on things. The other thing I like is that if they did something during the Olympics, it wouldn't feel opportunistic. If it had been a month ago, it would feel like it was kind of like we're reacting to things that are happening. And we now it's like things have settled down a little bit. Obviously, they haven't. But I think in the national consciousness, the fact that they, they would do something next week, I think would matter more. Because it would be like, no, actually, we, it hasn't yeah. settled down. This stuff is still over here, and it still matters. And we're going to speak out, and we're going to say this, and we're using this platform. See, I think the bigger issue isn't, isn't what's going on. I think it's athletes speaking, speaking up. Because there's going to be issues. It's going to keep happening. It's, there's going to keep being different yeah. kinds of issues. But where athletes feel empowered to say something and actually influence fans and people, I think that's, that's, the, real, that's the big thing here. That's so this is better than when, when you were in your prime, because you were kind of worried about speaking out to some degree, right? Because well, of the repercussions. Definitely. De I mean, worried about it and just my experience. If I'd answer one question honestly and then it turns into a big story and I have to deal with the stress in the middle of a football season or, that, I don't, that I don't need. And I think really it's about, I think part of it is the media being open and giving athletes a platform to talk about these things in a, in a safe place. I know we're focused on that team, but like, what if it was, what if it was Simone Biles and Gabby Douglas? Like, what if it, like, I feel like there's, I feel like there could be kind of a snowball. Would that be the greatest moment of your life? Uh, that, like, if they did it and somehow like, Barack and Michelle had gotten to Rio. And Sasha and, and Malia were and in And they the were stands. also like, <laughs> like, 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 that would, it would probably be up, it would definitely be up there. But, you know, I think there, there is a snowball effect that could, you know, happen past the Olympics. Like, I, I think we're still in the, like, in the, in an infancy stage of this generation being politically active. I know like things yeah. have happened yeah. and yeah. you know stuff with stuff with uh, Trayvon and the hoodies and like there have been these isolated 
moments, but we're still not at a point where it just is consistently happening. And I, I think like a big moment, a big stage could lead to this just becoming the norm. Yeah, that'd be nice.